The Boynton Beach Soup Kitchen is celebrating its 40th anniversary. And what's remarkable, they actually serve anyone who comes through the door two hot meals, soup. They give them a box of produce and so much more. It's amazing work. So this morning, WPTV's Tay Walker shining a light on this just army of volunteers. Really, you know, they're so proud of their work, TA, and really there's a growing need for their help. Yeah, uh, I'm here with Marlene, who's the CEO, and you guys have so much going on, but summertime, you say, really brings you some business issues that are significant. Yeah, good morning. It's a beautiful day at the soup kitchen, isn't it? It <laughs> Thank is. Thank you for having us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are, during the summer, you know, we have to try our hardest to stay afloat. Uh, we have uh, a lot of our volunteers leave and a lot of our um, uh, volunteers in the kitchen or Meals on Wheels and everything have to leave and go up north and we just love to have new new, new people coming in and getting some donations absolutely yeah now you guys are so quiet right now you've been so loud all morning say hello <laughs> <laughs> like what just happened <laughs> dimitri's the coo uh and you're the, tell us about the meals on wheels program that you guys do good morning i know it's still early in the day but we're already full power making meals on wheels for this morning we're making sandwiches and quesadilla uh, they're going to be delivered for uh, homebound senior citizens all around the Boynton Beach area. Awesome. Thank you, Dimitri. I want to go run over here to Holly. Holly, this is a new program you guys have for uh, people aging out of the foster care system. Are you a volunteer? I am not. I'm actually a part-time employee, but I've been a volunteer for over five years. Right. Um, the Young Adults Program is called the Lift Up Program, and we serve young adults aging out of the foster care system or those that are experiencing homelessness. And they get this really beautiful duffel bag. They get a full duffel bag when they sign up for the program. It's a 12-week program um, full of uh, home care uh, All items. All the basics you need. Hygiene to, products. But yeah. really, the whole part of the program is our culinary program. Our chef, he takes them through a 12-week training program. They're also given optional classes, like resume writing, interview skills, um, job search prep, and our whole Part of the whole pro program is to really create the very productive, confident young adults so they can be go out and get a job. Love that. Thank yes. you, Holly. Nice Who's the loudest volunteer? Right here. Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> Why do you like to volunteer? There's 250, 300 of you guys. We love volunteering here. I personally love it because this is like a family. They are a family to us. They really care about our well-being, and I love what we do here. I love the mission. I love helping others in our community. And seeing my regulars come in and smile when they see my face, it just makes me really happy. That's awesome. And we talked to you last time. I don't know if you can catch her, ca capture her, Leo. What's your favorite part about volunteering? Seeing the happy faces of the people that come in, the guests, and thanking us. And of course, we're thanking them for coming. And to see the same people over and over is a little bit upsetting because yeah. we're hoping to see these people be able to get back on their feet financially Absolutely. and and to um, not need us as much sure. but we're always here we're here six days a week every day feeding a thousand people thank you so much uh, really Holly and Megan they're looking for donations they're looking for yeah. volunteers uh, you know we are all taking our summer vacations and they could use some people to fill in but, you know, she says she sees a lot of familiar faces, but they probably don't even see the impact, how far it goes for the folks that only needed that one meal to hold them over and That's help right. them pay their bills. Every, and little, every little bit helps. What's yeah. really interesting, you, you mentioned it's a small army, 200, 300 volunteers, and it, it's still not enough. So it speaks to the need, how great it is out TA's there. TA's out there just waking everybody up. <laughs> As always, that's his and job. And only four full-time paid employees. The rest are volunteers. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks so much, TA. Great work Yay, this morning. Thank you.